I'm Dave Kersner with IK Multimedia, and uh, we're showing Amplitude 2 here. Amplitude 2 is the sequel to Amplitude 1. It is a uh, quite a significant jump in features and sound quality and uh, lots of nice eye candy, as I like to call it. You have a beautiful looking plug-in with a lot of functionality of a tuner section, a stomp box section that's completely configurable. Go ahead. Um, you can uh, choose popular uh, different, uh, hold on, let's see, there we go. Uh, different uh, modeled stomp bosses with incredible accuracy. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, you have your amp section here where you can choose between a variety of different models uh, with uh, photorealism so you can get an idea of which, um, which model is being, I mean, sorry, which amplifier is being modeled here, sorry, it's early in the morning. Okay, so you have uh, accurate modeling uh, using IK's new patent pending uh, DSM technology. This is dynamic saturation modeling and what it does is it uh, models the uh, it models the, the dynamic reaction of amplifiers where you have different harmonics and break the breakup, the erratic uh, response of a real amp and that's really hasn't been captured in modeling uh, before in, in digital modeling so that's something that lends Amplitude 2 a unique new uh, uh, realism to uh, simulating guitar amps uh, in addition to the traditional amplitude uh, capability to model have models of each component separately uh, so you have the, the preamp model the EQ and the amp separate and now since you have a larger variety of the individual elements to choose from uh, you you have up to in, in amplitude one you had 1260 combinations of different components of amps you could put together and now you have 20,000 so it's quite a significant jump there. Uh, over here you have the cabinet and in the cabinet you can see uh, you can choose different speakers uh, different speaker setups 4 by 10 you can choose different microphones um, and you can move them around you have a choice of uh, I mean a lot of different it's essentially simulating being in the studio you have um, near or far uh, different get that sweet spot uh, so you have mic simulation as well as speakers um, then you have your rack section here and in the rack section you have a completely configurable set of racks you have rotary speakers spring reverbs um, digital uh, stereo enhancers digital delays and um, what's great about amplitude 2 as well is that you have two simultaneous rigs at the same time so you could have a crunch sound going here and a clean sound and uh, coming out different speaker setups or and that's in serial or you can also have them in parallel so that means that instead of uh, six stomps and stomp boxes you could have twelve instead of four racks you can have uh, eight so that's amplitude two here we have Miroslav Philharmonic the orchestral workstation plugin from IK Multimedia and Sonic Reality uh, this plugin has a complete orchestra and choir uh, taken from the legendary sample archives of Miroslav Vitas. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Miroslav Vitas is um, a highly accomplished musician. He was one of the founding members of Weather Report, and uh, he had the original high end orchestral library uh, on the market before there was VSL and everything else. It was a $4,000 library and actually still sells for uh, close to that uh, in. Uh, hardware sampler formats and what we did is uh, IK Multimedia and Sonic Reality uh, acquired the enti entire archive uh, which included many gigabytes of additional material that he had never released and we put it all together in a uh, virtual instrument plugin for all the major platforms Mac and PC and um, sell it for uh, it has three times the amount of material the original library includes the full original library um, and uh, includes the engine just to play it back and it's close to 10 times less the price. So um, it's an amazing deal for a high-end orchestral library. It's also uh, one of the most beautiful sounding. That's, that's one of the best ways to describe it, how it's different from the other orchestral uh, products on the market. You have rich, 
feeling. And here I have uh, a combi patch loaded. Um, the, the way the module works is similar to sample tank. It's based on the sample tank engine underneath. Um, you have your 16 parts and um, here you can layer them or you can have them on different MIDI channels. So a combi patch where you load up here is essentially a, a, a like an interactive orchestra where you have different layers of uh, instruments together. Here I have a staccato uh, string on its own. Here I'll play it for you. Okay, then I've got a legato full orchestra performance patch. Okay, then I have a timpani sound. And then I have a cymbal sound that comes in when you hit with a heart of velocity. Okay, and together they make up a combi that sounds like this. And this, uh, this is just one of many combis that do different things. And um, so that, that's nice for, for performance and also for uh, inspiration and composing. Uh, what most people use orchestral uh, collections for is having the individual articulations. And of course, you have that here. You have individual instruments with a variety of articulations, uh, neatly organized in the browser section. You have a seven gigabyte collection here with uh, over 4,000 presets. So you have quite a lot of material to choose from. Very thorough. Um, everything's organized nicely. Let's take like violin, for example. Uh, you have various articulations, different uh, detache, pizzicato, spiccato, staccato. Uh, you say potato, I say potato. Um, sul ponte, close to the bridge, tremolo. Um, there is also some very cool things that, if I may go on, um, that you can do in Miroslav Philharmonic because of the advanced sample tank engine. And so I'll just show you something real quick here that's very cool. And there's many other things. And we just did a video if you want to go to philharmonic.com and see more. But check this out. Okay, now, right here, let me go to that. All right, so let's take a viola. Now, this is a viola detache, detached. So it uh, has a specific length in time. And then it stops, right? Okay, sample tank has something called Stretch, and Miroslav Philharmonic uses an advanced version of Stretch that's coming out in Sample Tank 2.1. And um, what that does is it, it, none of the other samplers on the market have something quite like Stretch. So even, you know, uh, some fantastic samplers like Giga and, you know, EXS24, con uh, well, Contact has Tone Machines, close, but it's not the same uh, results uh, for me. And, um, but Stretch allows you to do certain things like uh, take this, the duration of this sound, and now adjust the tempo of it, pitch shifting, time stretching. Okay, it also allows you to bend the note realistically. Um, most samplers uh, use a bending and transpose, transposition uh, uh, that speeds up and slows down the sound. And I'll show you what most samplers would sound like if you took this note and bent it up a fifth. Very real, unrealistic. It's the vibrato speeds up, and uh, the the form it gets like uh, chipmunky, right? Okay. Well, with stretch, it preserves the tempo of the vibrato and the harmonics, so you can go. So that means that with philharmonic, and this is generally the rule o overall, is that you can do a lot of things faster. It, it's you can put it on. It's not. 350 gigabytes, uh, you can put it on your laptop. You don't need to have necessarily every glide and every, you know, samples of every glide and this and that, and streaming and everything. Um, to do simple glissandos, you just, you can use stretch a lot of times. There's a lot of tricks in uh, Miroslav Philharmonic to get uh, realism that you can't get out of any other orchestral product.